Faith Burns' carefully laid plans took advantage of unplanned distractions and skipped town, never to be seen again. She stood outside her comfortable suburban home, one hand on the mailbox, the other holding a thick envelope from her attorney. Her line of sight did a dance around the yard as if one of her neighbors might be watching and somehow witness this moment of humiliation. Faith didn't have to open the seal to know what the package contained. Inside would be her copy of the final divorce decree. She hadn't wanted the dissolution of their vows, so she certainly didn't need to read through the corrosive words, again. Tucking the mail under her arm, she straightened her posture and walked past the tulips just beginning to open in the early spring weather. With Easter only four days past, their appearance should have been predictable. But like those who witnessed the death of Jesus, she wasn't prepared for life to return after tragedy. A horn honked behind her, startling Faith from her pathetic comparison between crucifixion and being dumped by Neil. She turned to find Kendall, a friend she'd made through Neil but managed to keep in the settlement. The side door of Kendall's green minivan slid open, with Harlow and Ava piling out and lunging toward her. Mom, I can't believe you're okay with this. Thank you. Ava hopped up on her toes, still not stretching quite to Faith's chin. She clutched the phone that Neil had purchased for her even though they'd decided the girls could wait until their 13th birthday for that kind of responsibility. Apparently, in his mind, divorce gave her a nine-month advancement in age. This is going to be the best summer ever. Faith kissed the top of Ava's head. I'm sure it will be. She shifted her gaze to her 14-year-old. Harlow was skilled at non-verbally cluing her mother in on all things Ava and what Faith was getting from her older daughter sparked flames in her chest. The delight melted from Harlow's face. Stop, Ava, he didn't ask mom. Ava's mouth hung open as her body stilled. So we're not going to Hawaii for the summer? Hawaii, for the summer. Faith's stomach became a jagged boulder. Thanks a lot, Neil. Daddy and I are still working through a few details about your vacation. Let us talk and I'm sure we'll get everything worked out. 